Hi, this is Marcia Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist. And in this video, I will show you how to use the Shape Tool and the Line Tool to enhance your lessons. Here are some examples of some of the different types of shapes and lines that you can make. You have actually quite a bit of creative freedom to do a variety of different things with the shapes and the lines. Now let's just show you how to get started with making shapes or lines. Up on the toolbar, there's two icons and they're right next to each other. The first one is the line icon and the next one is the shape icon. Let's go ahead and start with the shape icon. Um, let's say I wanted to draw a circle, so I would click on the circle. And then there's actually two different things you can do. If I just click here, it will make me a really small circle. If I want to make one larger, I click and drag until I get the desired shape. Pretty simple. Now, if I want to go ahead and adjust some of the properties of this, I need to come back up to the arrow. So anytime you're done drawing a circle or a shape or a line, you always need to tell Smart Notebook software, hey, I'm finished. So I always go back to the arrow. Now let's go ahead and adjust the properties. Let's say I want to fill this with a certain color. You can click on it, click on the down arrow, go to properties. The properties um, box will appear on the right and then you can fill, you can pick your fill. Do you want a solid fill? There's a red. I like the gradient personally. I'll show you. You've got two different colors to choose from. That's kind of pretty. There are pattern fills and there's even an image fill. You can browse to, um, you know, an image on your computer and fill it with an image. Kind of a fun little thing. You can also um, change the border or the line style. So I'm going to change mine to blue. Okay. And that's how you change the properties of this one individual circle that you just drew. Now you may want to um, change the properties of the tools on the toolbar. So if you notice, I have actually three tools here that I have customized. That means every time I click on that, I'm going to get a red uh, square or rectangle. Okay, This one, I have the blue triangle. And notice I didn't have to go in and change the properties of that after I drew it. Let me just show you how easy it is to customize. Oh, let's do the star. So I'm going to pick the star. And then I'm going to come over here to the Properties tab right over here on the right. I'm going to click on that. And again, I have all this, you know, the similar types of things that are available to me. One thing, this toolbar kind of gets in the way a little bit of some of the options up above. So I'm going to click on this X and it's going to disappear, but I still have the star selected. So I'm going to pick um, a gradient fill. Let's do kind of those two colors. And it's always um, important that you click Save Tool Properties if you want that tool style to stay that way. And then I'm going to do a bright red for the outside. And again, I'm going to click that Save Tool Properties. Now notice when I go back up here, there's my star. And voila, it has um, changed to what the properties that I selected. Now the line tool works the same exact way. There are certain lines that are already on there that are default. And you can use any of those that you want. or you can go ahead and make adjustments accordingly. I could change this one either after I've drawn it. I can go in and change that one particular line. Click on it. Go to Properties. And I can change the line style if I would like. Let's pick. I'm kind of in the red mood today. A little thicker. And I can make it, you know, a wide variety of different things for the start and end. And if I want it dashed or solid, I can choose those as well. So there's my new line that I, that I chose. If I want to change one of these tools so that it's always changed up here, I'll click on it and then go over to the properties. And again, I may need to close that toolbar so I can see a little bit better and I can change it. And when I'm finished, I'm going to click Save Tool Properties. And now on the toolbar, my line is changed. So it's good to change these up here to maybe colors that you would use on a regular basis 
or a style that you would use on a regular basis. And then if you need to make individual adjustments accordingly, you would just click on your item and change it individually. And that is how simple it is to make lines and shapes in Smart Notebook 10.0. Hope you enjoyed the video.